Hi everyone, I'm Carrie. I'm now a data scientist working in Hong Kong. This is my first time making YouTube video. Feel free to comment and let me know what I can do better to improve. Okay, this video's topic is introducing 3D ggplots with Ray Shader, and I will use Hong Kong housing price as data to do the demonstration. Hope you enjoy! The reason why I wrote an article about Ray Shader was because I saw a Twitter post published by Tyler Morgan Wall, the author of Ray Shader. He demonstrated how powerful the package is. My first response was, wow, I should give it a try. I went to the official site of this R package to understand more about its functionality. And this is the screen cap of the overview. What got my attention was this sentence. Rayshader also allows the user to translate ggplot2 objects into beautiful 3D data visualizations. This sentence is the focus of this video. All materials used in the demonstration are uploaded to my GitHub repository. Please go there and download the data and script first. Let's go through the datasets. We will only use two. One is the population data that I downloaded from the Hong Kong Census and Statistics Department. Another one is the real estate selling price data that I scraped from the Hong Kong property. Besides the data, you also need to install some packages before we start. Here is the list of the packages. I will briefly explain the usage of each of them during the demonstration in case you are not very familiar with them. The demonstration will be separated into two parts. The first task is to generate a 2D map plot with ggplot2. The second task is to transform the 2D plot into a 3D plot with ray shader. Alright, let's start the coding. First of all, we create a 2D map plot using ggplot2. The first part here is reading the datasets. I use xlsx to read the files and use read alias to read the geodata of Hong Kong map. To plot a map of any regions, you need to have the location data on hand. Then we use ggplot2 to make the plot. ggplot2 is another wonderful package in R providing many kinds of charts like bar chart, pie chart, heat map, and a lot more. In the script, there are two main things done. On the line scale field gradient, the polygons shown in the map are filled by colors based on the population data. Regions with darker color means that they have higher population. Then layer gives a borderline to each region, which is the white line shown. The reason for creating this plot is to prepare a background image for the 3D plot that we are going to work out in task 2. Thus, I remove all the grid lines, excesses, and biases by using Thum. Lastly, ggsave is used to export the map background with the white scale derived from the plot gradients. That's it, we have done the first task. Then for the second part, again we start with data import. This is the real estate price data that I scraped from a website called Hong Kong Property. Some minor preprocessing is done here. Then I use PNG to import the picture we saved in task 1. Here is where we use the library grid to give a background to the plot. Annotation custom is used to import the prepared map background image to the plot. Xlimit and Ylimit fix the X and Y axis of the plot and make them the same as the background image. Geom points adds the data points of S day price to the plot. Scale color gradient fills the data points with color based on the variable April price. The script to convert the 2D plot to a 3D plot is very simple, just one line. The 3D plot is shown in the RGL window. However, remember to close the window after filling the plot, as the output of the RGL window will not be erased, so the next plot will be overlap with the previous plot.
These scripts are used to render the outputs. If you want to save a picture of the plots by a particular angle, or you want to render the plots with movements as a video clip, these are some sample scripts. As shown in the overview, Ray Shader provides flexibility of rendering the outputs. The scripts here are just some simple examples. That's it! I guess after watching this video, you can feel how easy it is to use Ray Shader. And here, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Tyler Morgan Moore for creating this wonderful package. If you are interested to learn more, there are some more demonstrations available in the official size of this package. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Carrie. See you next time.